Hello, my name's Jonathan Bailey, and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK in my home in London, and here is what you don't know about me. My guilty pleasure at the moment um, is I've been going down wormholes of looking at flash mobs of musical theatre numbers. They're extraordinary. There's one in particular that a friend sent me that, that was my trigger. It's an amazing sort of um, version of One Day More from Les Mis in an American uh, mall. And um, I just think it sort of creates this really interesting subgenre of high stakes drama, reality TV, and all into the sort of nice balm of um, self-expressionism. Uh, and it's extraordinary. Love is a game of hide and seek, or a game of sardines, depending on your vibe. <laughs> My first crush was probably, probably Anita in Heartbreak High, which possibly could be niche to some people, but the, the soundtrack to that is sort of etched into my mind. <laughs> yeah, she was everything to me. And it's also just been put on Netflix for anyone who wants to um, go and have an introduction to Anita. Um, yeah, and if not Anita, Prince Eric from Little Mermaid, with the big blue eyes and just, you know, just the whole idea of wanting to be on shore with, with Prince Eric is pretty dreamy, yeah. Uh, perfect dates, really tricky. For me, I think going on a little adventure, uh, getting a pint, um, exploring, I think it's good. I think, so maybe a ramble or a yeah, bike ride or something like that, I think is nice. Change of scenery. The most romantic thing I think someone's done for me is like running a bath and then sitting with you and while you have your bath and you know, having a chat, I think is pretty mega. Put the toilet seat down and yeah, and just sort of be there while you bathe. I think there's something really like, it's just really sweet and brilliant and you know, you're naked and you know, yeah, I think that's really romantic. My party trick um, is, I once upon a time I could do a backflip and uh, when the party, you know, sort of halfway through, I always feel like perhaps, you know, I can, I can uh, recreate those previous achievements and you know, it's quite, again, quite high stakes because obviously it can really get the party going or it can sort of, yeah, bring it all to a, to a terrifying end. Signature dance moves, always really sort of welcoming, hippie, hands in the air, like a mum at a wedding, really trying to get everyone going. Yeah, I had to ask a friend for that and that's how he described it. I think anyone who can play a stadium, sing and dance at the same time, I'm sort of starstruck by. But last year, <laughs> uh, we went to the Netflix party, sort of on behalf of Bridgerton and, and I was introduced to Rihanna. And of course, really starstruck, but also just like really thrilled. And she sort of disappeared at the party and then she came back in and everyone was like, oh my God, Riri, 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 Riri's here. Look, Riri, Riri, Riri. I was like, Riri? Oh yeah, I was like, yeah, I've just been introduced to her. I'll, yeah, I'll go get her now. So I went over and I was like, hey, oh, it's great, how are you doing? You have a good night? Yeah, <laughs> so dancing around. And the team sort of um, enveloped her and sort of, you know, made it very clear that perhaps that wasn't, you know, my little space to, to, to get down. Um, so I walked back and someone went, who was sort of jaw open and just said, we don't do that to Riri. And I said, no, you don't. I do. <laughs> and then I walked out of the party and got in a taxi and went home. I'm still learning. What makes me angry? I think it's probably dishonesty or, yeah, a confused sort of transparency. I think it, I think it can be really limiting. I think things stop when things are dishonest and things can't progress. And I think that's, and actually I think even true of acting and storytelling, I think the truer the better. Yeah, authenticity also in storytelling, I think is, is super key. What makes me the happiest is definitely music. Always has and always will. Is also like a diary. I've got like on Spotify, my starred playlist. And yeah, as music comes into your life, I can remember very specifically emotional moments and they're linked to music. So music, music, music. My superpower, it would be to be able to go back in time and be present at certain music gigs. Yeah, Wembley Queen, 100%. Also Paul Simon in Zimbabwe. Spice Girls first tour. And then re relive some that I've been to, like, you know, Celine Dion, unbelievable. Yeah, and seeing Kanye, Girls Aloud and Beyonce all at Wembley in one night. I'd go back and relive that on repeat. Yeah, that'd be great. My strangest audition experience was, it was for something called Treasure Island. It was before the sort of hashtag me too era and those sorts of conversations were taking place. But I went in and, and, um, and they said to me, we're just going to do an improvisation. 
you know, say that you're ordering a Happy Meal and, um, and you really want the cheeseburger, but they, they've run out of cheeseburgers. And so you're so livid at the fact that there's no cheeseburgers for your Happy Meal that you just rip your t-shirt off, throw it on the floor and storm out. And I did it. And so somewhere there's a video of my pubescent bod um, on some hard drive somewhere. And actually there's a lot to be uh, challenged and questioned and talked about there. So maybe that's for the next video. The job that's changed my life, it was quite early on, but it was working on the lemon curd line at the local honey factory. You know, every summer, Christmas holidays at school, there's something about having to open up a, a piping hot vat of lemon curd to check the temperature at five in the morning that really sort of spurs you on and makes you think about perhaps what, you know, what you'd like to do and something that may, might be a bit more creative. So it, that's, it was, yeah, it was groundbreaking in that it made me realise that A, I don't ever want to see or have lemon curd ever again, but also perhaps maybe acting's, even though it's, you know, kind of unstable, it's just you don't get a lemon curd facial that early in the morning. If I wasn't an actor, I think I'd love to be a primary school teacher. I mean, I think all teachers are basically, you know, modern day heroes. And I love going to take, going to see my, my niece in her like nativities and stuff at school. And I just always think they're just so sweet and lovely and generous. And watching my, like the next generation of Baileys grow up, you just realize how informative those years are. And um, yeah, I'd, I think being a part of that is pretty special. Best career advice I've ever been given is just do what you want and don't try and conform to an idea of what you think you should be doing. And also, good friends, get good friends. I think in acting, stick with your friends, school friends, nurture those relationships because they will keep you sane. <sighs> Dream role to play. Rum Tom Tugger in Cats. <laughs> I think when you go towards characters, you're looking for um, you know, a distance between presentation and what they're actually feeling. And I think in, in Cats, there's a lot going on there. And also you always want to like learn a new skill. So for instance, in like Bridgerton, you learn how to horse ride, but in Starlight Express, you know, I'd, I'd love to be able to, to roller skate really well. So yeah, and along those lines, in those sort of, in that ballpark would be great. How would I describe my personal style? If you've got your own um, strap line for your vibe, I think it probably means you don't really have that much style, but um, I don't know, navy marshmallow <laughs> at the moment, <laughs> texture. Yeah, depth of field, I'd say. I would give my teenage self the advice of you'll find your tribe and your tribe is there for you no matter who you are. Ultimately, um, you will get the luxury of choice in who you spend your time with and you'll find confidence in knowing how, what your sense of right and wrong is and kindness um, and that's, that's all waiting for you so don't worry.